What is going on everybody? You're watching Next Gen Speed. Today we got some taillights in here for 2016 and 2018 Camaro. Now these taillights are the same taillights we've been offered for the past couple of years, including this smoked lens right here, and then this smoked clear lens below it. If you're wondering why we're just sitting here looking at some taillights, these actually have been updated for fall of 2019. As you guys can see, we have a plug right here. And this plug will simply plug into the third brake light. And then with these pigtails right here, they'll simply plug in the back of the taillights, as you can see over here. Let me bring this one down. As you can see, a little pigtail sticking out of here. And once these are fully installed, you will attach this to the third brake light and get it plugged into there to add some power. And then you'll take these pigtails down here. And then once you simply connect them just like this, once you break, the turntables will no longer flash while breaking, guys. So it's a new update we're really excited about because we had some concerns before people were saying and stuff about the taillights, but we officially have an option to let you stop that from happening. So we're gonna take these taillights, go to the Camaro, and we're gonna install them and show you guys how to do it to make sure this is a plug and play process. And before we get into that, I just wanna show you guys some new decals we got made for next gen speed. This features our new logo and some white, red, yellow, and blue colors. We'll have some more made in some different colors soon, but these are all we have for right now. So make sure to check out the link below if you guys want to get one. But let's head out to the garage. Here we got the Next Gen Speed Camaro 2017 SS. About to pull it out a little bit and get these taillights installed. Right here we got that smoked clear style with the red signal installed on our Next Gen Speed Camaro. You can see with the red turn signal and as you can see with these red signal tail lights when you press the brakes it does activate the signals but actually in the red signal it looks actually pretty nice as an animation before you press the brakes and it honestly makes it look cool and has a little sequential effect to it all right guys to get these installed you obviously need the tail lights the new harness a pry tool or a flathead screwdriver socket wrench eight millimeter and a small extension First off, we're gonna take off all these little tabs right here. Remove every single one, take off the top panel piece. And then once you get them all removed, you wanna remove this little trunk latch piece, which just pops right off. I need a screwdriver for that or fry tool. up just like that. You want to remove this panel right here. And just set it aside for now. And we're then going to remove all these tabs on top of the taillights. And once you get all the tabs off, you want to go to the main plug to the taillight, if you can see it. You just want to unplug by pushing on this pin and pulling out the main plug. And then you just want to go in the trunk real quick, look on each side for little push pins right here. I don't have them installed, so I can just do this easier whenever I want, so I have them removed already. If you see one on each side, just take your pry tool or screwdriver and take those out. And once those push pins are out, you just want to move the carpet a little bit just to give you access to the taillights. And you'll see three 10 millimeter bolts, two right here and one back over here. If you want to remove those, you can remove the taillights on each side. So we got a socket wrench right here, extension with a 10 millimeter. Luckily we had this, found it, no problem. And so you can go back here, remove all the bolts. So now that we got the bolts removed, we're just gonna remove the taillight. To do this with no issues, you just want to gently pull in the taillight backward just like that. But make sure you don't do it too hard or with too much force because at the bottom right here you can stretch your bumper. Just try to be careful with it and not force it too hard. And on this side, some slide clips hold the bolts on the outer edge. You just want to pull gently without too much force. Remove the plug real quick. Just like that. 
So we're going to set that tailor to the side. Get this new one plugged in real quick. Simply plugged in just like that. Make sure you hear the click, make sure it's nice and secure. I just want to bring this up over the taillight to make sure there's no mounting issues and bring this plug up. And you just want to line it as best as you can. And just push it in just like that, guys. So once you got them mounted up, just want to put the bolts back in real quick. And now that the taillight is installed, let's turn on the car and see how it works so far. It will show the turn signal when you brake because the plug is still not plugged in. But I just want to give you guys an idea how it looks like before we add the pigtail for the third brake light. As you can see, regular turn signal for the amber. So as you guys can see, it does show the turn signal while you while braking, but with this new plug, we're gonna eliminate that to have no more issues. So what you wanna do is go up here to your third brake light. You just wanna unplug it. So if you go right up in here, or right by the trunk latch and look inside there, you'll see the third brake light with the third brake light plug right here. You just wanna unplug that by pull, pushing on the clip and then pulling it. Pretty much just press on the sides of it and it pulls right out. And having someone with smaller hands does help. As you guys can see, you got the plug right there. You just want to get the new harness. And then what you want to do is take the harness. And then once you get that plugged in, you just kind of want to bring it down over here. Untangle it real quick. I'm just going to unplug it real fast, bring it down through this little hole, plug it back in, and I'm going to follow the stock wires to go down to this main harness to make a nice and clean look. And once you got that right there. And once you get to this point, you pretty much have uh, your own choice of how you want to reroute the wires. I would say just put this one down here. Stuff it behind the carpet right there. And then uh, bring it through. I'm just going to stuff that down there. And you can either let it sit like this and attach it to your taillight just like that, or you can either drill a hole where you see this little hole right there, and just feed the wire right there and make it more clean. But, but to stop the turn signals from flashing while braking, this is required, so it doesn't have some modification required for it. But for the left side, you just want to reroute the wires just like that. As I said before, it just pretty much depends how you want it, how you want it to look. Like you simply just reroute it right there, follow the trunk line. And then once you get to this point right here, we're gonna tuck the wires in. And last but not least on the install process, just wanna attach these connectors. And just wait until you hear it click. And these wires are made to be weatherproof, so I wouldn't worry about it, but if you wanna be safe, you can have some electrical tape around it. I'm going to stuff that in for right now. But if you add some tape, it could be a lot more cleaner and you can rewire it through these little wires on the side. But now that she's fully installed, 
Let's see how she functions. But as you guys can see, the problem is officially fixed. No more issues with the trim signals while braking. It does require some wiring and some rerouting for some wires, but the final product, it looks amazing, it works amazing, and you have no more issues with these guys. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe for more. Check out the link in the below if you guys want to get these taillights or any other parts for your Chevy Camaro, including Mustangs, Chargers, any late model muscle guys. So if you enjoyed the video though, please like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.